As a remnant of antiquity, money now largely serves as a mechanism of corruption, deprivation, and control in the hands of a few. It's corrupted everything. I mean, every institution that we live in is corrupted by money. It, what's fascinating to me is that we can become enslaved by something that we've created. Not physically, but just mentally enslaved by a notion that was invented by humanity. You know, it is archaic because I think we've grown past what money can do. It is well enough that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and money system. Or if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. Henry Ford, Ford Motor Company. In a desperate attempt to survive, many work multiple jobs. They may steal, lie, or embezzle. So stress-producing to the average person. Worries about rent, losing their job, can't pay off the house. On a bigger scale, the profit motive creates a ruthless cycle of devastation. Illness, pollution, and war are accepted as normal. You have sort of a wartime economy that, that, that begins to be self-perpetuating, and you have powerful people in, inside of a, a power vacuum, really, you know, who, who see it as in their interest to perpetuate the conflict. But it does benefit the few at the top who live parasitically by the manipulation and control of money. The banking system right now is effectively enslaving individuals, enslaving students, enslaving institutions, and sucking resources from them. They set it up so that there would be private central banks that could charge everybody interest on the currency and allow themselves to get rich without having to do anything. Who's been doing all of this? It's a group of bankers, uh, the Federal Reserve System. That's a private system. The Fed is a private bank owned by private stockholders. Do not let the name Federal fool you. In 1913, which is when Woodrow Wilson allowed the Federal Reserve System legislation to be passed, most of the Congress people had gone home. This legislation turned the central bank system of the United States over to the Federal Reserve Board, making them the only group that could issue Federal Reserve notes or U.S. dollars. 